Now let us just summarize the foramina that we have learnt in the cranial cavity. This is the frontal crest. Behind that we have foramen cecum. This is the crista galli. On either side we have the cribriform plate of the ethmoid that transmits the olfactory nerves. In its anterior wall and posterior wall we will have the anterior and posterior ethmoidal canals. On either side of sulcus chiasmaticus we have the optic canal that transmits the optic nerve and ophthalmic artery. Between the greater wing and lesser wing of sphenoid is a narrow fissure which is called as the superior orbital fissure which transmits on its lateral compartment lacrimal nerve, frontal nerve, trochlear nerve, recurrent meningeal branch of the lacrimal vessels and superior ophthalmic vein. In the intermediate compartment it transmits nasociliary nerve, abducens nerve, superior and inferior divisions of the oculomotor nerve. In the medial compartment it will transmit the inferior ophthalmic vein. This is foramen rotundum that transmits maxillary division of trigeminal nerve. This is foramen ovale that transmits mandibular division of trigeminal nerve, accessory meningeal vessels, lesser petrosal nerve and an emissary vein. This is foramen spinosum that transmits nervous spinosis and middle meningeal vessels. Foramen lacerum is usually closed by a cartilaginous plate in the living. On its superior end, on its posterior end, we have the opening of the carotid canal that transmits internal carotid artery and on its anterior wall will be the opening of the posterior end of pterygoid canal. Then we have the pituitary fossa in the median plane. The tuberculum cellae, pituitary fossa and dorsum cellae is together called as cella tersica. In the posterior cranial fossa, we have this foramen which is the internal acoustic foramen and we have the jugular foramen here. The two lateral side of foramen magnum, this is formed by the condylar part of the occipital bone. In the anterior part of the condylar part of occipital bone are two foramina which are called as the hypoglossal canals. This transmits the hypoglossal nerve out of the cranial cavity. Then we have the foramen magnum that transmits mainly the medulla spine that continues as the spinal cord surrounded by meninges, the vertebrobasilar system of vessels and the spinal part of accessory nerve. Thank you.